Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Event Science, is all about trying to learn various conceptual designs by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding seasonal sales analysis. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay. The question reads, we are given a table called sales with five different columns, sale ID, product ID, sale date, quantity, and price. Sale ID is the unique identifier for this table. Each row contains information about a product sale, including the product ID, date of sale, quantity sold, and the price per unit. We are also given a second table called products, three different columns, product ID, name, and category. Product ID is the unique identifier for this table. Each row contains information about a product including its name and category. We are asked to write a solution to find the most popular product category for each season. The seasons are defined as, so winter is December, January, February, spring is March, April, May, summer is June, July, August, and fall is September, October, November. The popularity of a category is determined by the total quantity sold in that season. If there is a tie, Select the category with the highest total revenue, that is quantity multiplied by price. Return the result table ordered by season in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example. Here what we have is various sales, product IDs, quantities and price. And we have various products. So let's look at one of the seasons. So, let's, so December, January, February is winter. So if we look at for winter season, so we have January and December and February. So if we look at these products, right, so product ID 1, 2, and then 3, 4, and 5. So if we look at product ID 1 and 2 belong to apparel, 3, 4, 5 belong to kitchen, tech, and fitness. So if we look at the total quantity in winter, so that is 9 for apparel, and for uh, 3 is basically kitchen, so the quantity is 6, for 4, tech, it's 3 and for 5 which is fitness it is 2. So for winter season the most popular product category is apparel with total quantity 9 and that is what we have in our output right. So winter apparel 9 and total revenue is basically total quantity multiplied by the price. Okay so to solve this question what we basically need to do is firstly we should join the sales table along with the products table so that we can have the category because for every season which category is the most popular that is what we want so let's start with this so from this table called sales alias as s let us perform a left join you can also do, do a inner join but let me do the left join products aliased as p using the or on s dot product id because that is the common column between these two p dot product id and what do we want is we want everything from the sales table so s dot star but the only column we are concerned about from the products table is the category column right and therefore we have p dot pro category right and then what we can also do is use these dates that we have in the sales table sale date to extract the month and based on that we can have a column which calls the season out so that in the next step of this code it would be helpful for us to group by that to find out okay which one is the most popular category so let's do that so we can do case when extract the month from the sale date column sale date column comes from sales table so let's do s dot sale date and if this comes out to be in if we go back to this so december is 12 january is 1 february is 2 then you assign the value winter now when this comes out so let me just copy this entire thing right because we need to do the similar thing four times so paste then if it is june july august six seven eight then it would be summer otherwise it is going to be fall so else fall end the case when statement and alias this as what is required in our output the final output says this should be called season so 
season. Okay, let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output. Okay, so if I go ahead and let me just drag it to the left. So what we have here right now is for every sale and product, what is the category of that product and the season it was sold in. So once we have this, then we can save this entire thing in a common table expression. So with CTE as this entire thing goes into parentheses. And then what we can do is we can group by every season and category and try to find out the total quantity and the total revenue because that is going to help us to identify which category in a particular season has the maximum quantity and if there is a tie the maximum revenue to identify which one is the most popular. So once we save this what we can do is from this common table expression let us group by the one first and then category. Let us return both of these columns. So select season and the category and let's perform a sum on the quantity column that will give you the total quantity. So alias this as total quantity. Let me just drag it to the right total quantity. And similarly, in case there is a tie, the question reads that if there is a tie, we also need the total revenue. Therefore, what we can do is we can basically do quantity multiplied by price and this entire thing can be summed to get the total revenue. So sum of this entire thing as total revenue. Let me just copy this from the output. So total revenue. Okay, let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output. Okay. So if we look at our output right now, we have every season and category and what is the total quantity and the total revenue. Now based on these two numbers, we can assign ranks that hey, for every season, which one has the most quantity and if there is a tie, which one has the most total revenue and that is going to be assigned rank 1. Because based on that rank, we can filter in the next step to assign which one is the most popular. So let's save this entire thing in a different common table expression CTE2 and then this entire thing goes into parentheses as well and from this common table expression 2 what we are going to do is let's keep all the columns and then use we can use any of the row number rank or dense rank. Let me go ahead and use row number in this case because the way this question is framed, there is only going to be one popular product in every season. So row number and then this entire thing over since this is a window function. So partition by so for every season we want which one is the most popular. So partition by season and how we are going to order order by the total quantity in descending manner. And if there is a tie total revenue in descending manner. Let's alias this as rank. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see if we have the correct ranking or not. So if we look at our output now, so for fall apparel, total quantity 10, revenue 120 and rank is assigned 1. And similarly for fall fitness is assigned rank 2. So this looks good. Now we only need to keep those where rank is equal to 1 because that those are the most popular categories for that particular season. So again we can save this entire thing in a common table expression. Let's call it this as CTE3 as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses as well. And now from this common table expression 3, let us keep only those rows where rank equal to 1 because we only want the popular category. And what columns do we need in our output? Season, category, total quantity and total revenue. So return me the season, the category, the total quantity and total revenue. And we also need to order them by season, I think. So return the result table ordered by season in ascending order. So order by season in ascending order. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. Okay, so this is accepted. If we look at our output, our output is exactly same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit to see, pass all the test cases. 
okay so this is accepted and this is how you do it so yes not very difficult but kind of lengthy and you need to go step by step what we basically did in this solution is firstly we got the category column from the products table because that is in a different tables and that is required in our final output so we have the category column then we use the sale date column to basically assign which season this particular sale belongs to then what we did was for every season and category we found out the total quantity and the total revenue and use those values to rank the most popular and the way we ranked it is the most popular is going to be assigned rank equal to 1 and that is what we kept in our final output and ordered by season in ascending order so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video